The New Forest in the south of England is Britain's newest national park and is the first designated national park for almost 50 years. The park covers 220 square miles of diverse woodland, heath and coastal areas and has the largest concentration of veteran trees in Western Europe. The forest is a mixture of dense native woodland, expanses of heath and cultivated commercial pine forest whose towering trees reach upwards for the sunlight. Like any great forest, it's a haven for wildlife. The vast supply and range of wild food on offer here is amongst the finest in England. The new forest dates back almost a thousand years to the time of William the Conqueror, who protected the forest to use as a royal hunting ground. It's ironic that a place that was once a royal hunting party's dream is now an important natural environment that can be enjoyed by all. Autumn is a time of change and a very special time of year in the forest. The colour changes dramatically from the lush green to the brown, red and gold of autumn. On a typical autumn morning, the mist hovers above the heath. As the sun rises on a bright and crisp sunny morning, people are gathering. The scene looks more like a military operation as people emerge from the mist dressed in camouflage and line the heath. Some are armed with cameras and huge lenses. Why are they here? They're here to witness one of Britain's greatest wildlife spectacles. In the distance, a prehistoric sounding roar echoes across the heath. They're here, of course, to see the red deer rut. This majestic 12-pointed stag proudly parades his harem of hinds for all to see. Weighing in at around 225 kilos, the red deer is the largest land-based animal in Britain. Autumn is the rutting season, where the red deer come out from their dense woodland hiding places and onto the heath. The rut is the mating season, and this is the only time of year that red deer mate. The females, called hinds, only come into season for a few hours each year, so it's important for the stag to stay close to them. His roars are not without purpose. They're telling the other stags in the vicinity to stay away. 
Red Deer stags will stand and fight one another if they feel challenged by a rival stag, but only if they think they can win. So when two stags are evenly matched, extended battles can take place. During last year's rut, these two stags were evenly matched in size. Both felt they had the power and might to win the fight. Stags are incredibly fast and agile for a large animal. They turn, twist and thrust forward with massive force and great agility in an attempt to get behind the other stag's defences. Just look at the effort these stags are putting into the fight. No holds barred. They're both determined to win the bout. The winner of the fight will take all. He'll claim the other stag's hinds for his own. In a different part of the forest, away from prying eyes, there's an even greater stag. This stag has an incredible 18 points on his antlers and he has this year's top prize, a collection of over 30 hinds, almost a third of the entire forest population. Lesser stags look on, watching, not daring to challenge this monarch of the forest. The intricate pattern of antlers would surely penetrate the defense of any other stag. A challenge from one of these stags would almost certainly result in serious injury or even death, for he is the alpha male. But the red deer rut isn't all about the stags, although they are indeed spectacular. The whole event is in fact driven by the hinds. The hinds only come into season for a couple of hours each year and as soon as this happens, a male approaches her. The whole thing is over in just a few seconds. Mating in the autumn ensures the calves will be born in mid-May to early June when a good supply of food will be available. The red deer of the new forest is a truly amazing wildlife spectacle. As the sun descends and meets with the horizon, the red deer disappear into the mist of the night. <laughs> 